Hello and welcome back to Glenn's Small Engine. In this video we're going to dig a little deeper into the ignition coil and I'm going to show you how to test the spark advance. Sometimes some of these will crank up and run fine, easy to start, uh, but you go to rev it up and it just has no power. It just bogs down at, at, at the top end. It just won't cut anything. Uh, it'll rev up, but it just, it just when you, as soon as you stick it in the grass, it just has no power. Echo uses a CDI ignition coil with variable slope timing, that's what they call it. Uh, at, at starting speeds and idle speeds, the, the timing will be advanced to where it'll be real easy to start and it'll idle smooth. And the faster you run it, the more retarded the timing or backed up the timing gets. Whenever you speed it up, the timing will back up automatically. It improves performance, uh, gets more power out of it, uses less fuel. It's just a, a smoother running engine. Echo uh, is kind of known for their easy to start, uh, smooth running machines that put out a lot of power. If one's going bad, it can actually hang up in the advanced position. I've had this happen a couple of times and uh, it'll be real easy to start. It'll run nice and smooth but it just bogs down on the top end, just gets no power out of it. Uh, so today I'm gonna show you how to check that, test that ignition coil. Uh, we're gonna check the timing on it and watch it, uh, watch it back up the timing as we get more speed out of it. Uh, we're gonna use just a regular automotive timing light with an advanced degree wheel on the back. We need that so we can see where the timing is on it. Uh, we're going to use a regular tack here so we know what RPMs we're running. And then we're going to hook our timing light to just this little cheap 12 volt battery. Uh, I've had several people asking me how to, how to do this and so I thought well I'll just make a video. It's easier for me to show you than it is for me to try to explain it over the phone. But uh, we've got some of uh, Echo. I pulled up the specs on this particular trimmer. These specs are a couple of years old. They've changed these coils several times. Uh, so this, as long as we're close to this, we're going to be okay. Uh, they're showing the ignition time at 3,000 RPMs would be at 16 degrees before top dead center. At 8,000 RPMs, it'd be 34 degrees before top dead center. There, I think you can see that. Uh, this timing light actually has a uh, dial on the back where we could set it at 16 degrees, mark it at top dead center, and, and see if it's in the right place. Uh, then, then we can move it to 34 degrees, run it wide open, and, and see if we're lining up up here. Our mark should be at top dead center. And plus it's kind of interesting to see it. So the uh, first thing we're going to do is I'm just going to get this air filter cover out of my way here. And then we're going to pull this blower housing off. This particular one just has two screws in it. I know this happens to be an SRM uh, 225, but you don't have to have the exact specs on your trimmer or chainsaw to do this test. The, the main thing is you're looking for is a change. You should be at one setting at idle and another setting wide open. What we want to do is take the, the plug out because we want to find a, the exact top dead center on this piston here. We're going to roll the flywheel around here till we get the piston all the way to the top here. When we find that spot, what we're going to do is we're going to make a, we're going to take some white out. We're going to put a mark on the flywheel and then put a mark right beside it on the ignition coil. That way as the flywheel is going by we can check it. Okay, we've got our mark right here uh, at the top dead center. I'm trying to move this where you can see it. Yeah, that way when the flywheel goes around, uh, it's try to put it as close as top dead center as I can get it. Plug back in. I 
uh, we're going to go ahead and hook this on the spark plug wire here but anyway let's go ahead and put it back to 16 and I'm gonna go ahead and crank it up uh, we'll check the RPMs here You can see that whenever I rev the engine up, the timing backs up. Uh, so this system will be working correctly. That just gives you something to go by. I think I'll go grab a, another uh, Echo product and bring it in here and we'll just test another one. That way you can kind of see on both of them uh, what you're looking for. If it's, if it's just stuck in one spot, that would indicate that it's hung. Uh, the coil would need to be replaced but as long as you're revving up and that ignition is backing up that, that's what you're looking for right there that the ignition system is backing up as you rev the saw up it's moving the ignition a little bit further back before top dead center uh, you can see that when idling we was running at about 16 degrees before top dead center when I was revving it up it was going to about 34 degrees before top dead center and so you can see that it was working there so we'll put this one back together I'll go grab another one just for the heck of it and we'll just do another one all right here is a PAS 225 which is pretty much the same engine probably got a different ignition coil on it a little different they've changed it several times so let's get this one apart and take this cover off an air filter make a mark and just see what it does find top dead center here we'll make a little mark with this white out just like we did a while ago it doesn't have to be exactly we're just we're just wanting to see if it's working we're just wanting to see that that spark is backing up when we ever we rev it up that's what we're looking for all right so we'll go ahead and put the plug back in it I'm gonna let that white out dry for just a second here okay we're gonna go ahead and hook our little inductive pickup here on the coal we've got on the coal wire we've got our battery hooked up to our timing light let me zoom this in so you can see that spot there you can see the uh, white mark on the flywheel there and the mark that I made right there uh, we're looking at about a 10 to 15 degree difference between idle and, and high speed. That's going to tell you that it's working or not. We're not looking for the exact 16 degrees or 32 degrees. Because from coal to coal it's going to be a little different and you'll just spend, uh, waste a lot of time looking up specs. It's not right when you find them because they've changed the coal. So the best thing to do is, is to test it at an idle, test it at fast and look for about a 15 degree difference.
think you can see that. Let me make a different mark on there because you might be able to see better. Okay, hopefully you can see that. Our timing is moving about 15 degrees from idle to fast, so uh, this system is working fine. If, if yours is not moving at all, you know you have a bad one. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it saved you some money. Uh, thank you for watching. Reach down there and hit that subscribe button. Uh, we'll be adding more videos as often as we can. Hopefully some of this information will do you some good. Look around. I've got other videos. Uh, maybe there's something there that will help you. Stay tuned for more repair videos. Thank you. What I have here. Sign of up. What happens when one is going bad sometimes? Well, son of a biscuit munching turd knocker. Echo calls this ignition call a CDI. Well, son of a bitch.